Biceps. Quads. Arms. Like here. Chest. I don't know if I can say this on camera. You can say whatever you want. Today I'm answering the most important question known to gym bros worldwide. What is the one muscle girls find most attractive? To find out, I'm surveying over 200 girls to accurately determine which muscle ranks the highest and which ones they just don't seem to care for. At the end, I'll also reveal the one unexpected personality trait that actually outperformed all the muscles we surveyed. But to start things off, I wanna first ask the guys what muscle they believe most girls would pick. Do we really understand what women want? Well, this is obvious, isn't it? I don't know, is it? A well-rounded physique. You gotta pick one muscle. Shoulders. Nice shoulders. broad shoulders, yeah. Shoulders. We're looking for that Dorito look, you know what I mean? <laughs> that like triangle. It's basically what makes up your frame. You know what I mean? <sighs> Bro. Classic biceps. Back, I think. Back, cause like, you know, fills you up a little bit more yeah. and you can see it from further away. I'm gonna say chest. Yeah, chest. Uh, okay. Broadens you out a bit. Quite a thing to, to admire, to appreciate. Quads. Quads. <laughs> the booty. The booty? Yeah. How important is the booty on a guy? Really important. How would you rank his booty? One to ten. Oh. <laughs> Two. Oh. Abs. Abs. Yeah, no okay. girls, yeah. I'll say calf or deltoids. Calves. A lot of girls love the calves. Look at his calves. calves I can see one. what. Dude, these are literally the biggest calves I've ever seen in my life. After talking to the guys, our leading predictions were chest and shoulders. Which means it's finally time to start talking to some ladies. But I'm gonna need some assistance. This is Max. Max has one of the best proportion physiques I know and is going to be our muscle model for the day just in case the girls need a visual reference before making their choice. But what Max doesn't know is I'm secretly playing matchmaker today. Max is as nice as he is buff, and he's single too. So as we interview Girls for Science, let's see if we can find someone truly special for him. In case you're wondering, this is Max. He's our muscle model for the day. Clearly very well built. If you could pick one muscle in a guy that's most attractive, what would you pick? Traps. Okay. <laughs> These guys are here. Yeah, yeah. Chest. Number one, and, and why is that? Just... I don't know, I just like find that really attractive. Probably their arms. Arms? Biceps. Arms, yeah. yeah. Maybe abs would be like a second best kind of thing. Probably abs. Yeah. Just like them. Yeah. <laughs> How would you rank his traps out of 10? Yeah. Show, show him what's going on. Okay, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Like a cool. nine, ten, like pretty. Yeah, you're up there. Okay. How would you rate his chest? Seven. Seven? Seven yeah. ten? I'll take it. Oh. Pretty good. pretty good. I mean, could be bigger. <laughs> are you single? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Okay. The great thing is, Max over here is also single. Oh. So, I don't know, maybe you could exchange numbers, you know, <laughs> maybe you get a little trick bit. Me here. <laughs> what do you mean? You trick me here. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> I am, unfortunately. Oh, sing you are single. Max is, uh, he's also single. You'll find someone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you. You, you are brutal. Keep, keep walking around. <laughs> Turns out our first couple attempts didn't quite go as planned. And even though Max is in amazing shape, he's also incredibly shy. Yeah, well, for the record, Jeremy didn't give me a heads up that I would be uh, asking girls giving me, give me their number today. So it's good. I, I feel like I need to be put on the spot more. It's, uh, it'll help me grow as a person. What's your type? A uh, girl who goes to the gym. All right. Gym girls, where you at? And while I was failing in my role as a wingman, we were at least getting some really valuable answers from the girls. Shoulders, probably. Shoulders? And what about yourself? Um, probably back. Back, really? Yeah, yeah. And why is that? Um, my boyfriend works on his back. <laughs> Quads. Quads, you were yeah. quick with that. I know what I like. Shoulders, for sure, yeah. Uh, let's say shoulders. Shoulders, yeah. yeah. It kind of just gives them that nice frame. Probably the chest, the pectoral muscles. Chest? Yeah. And yeah. why is that? Because it makes you look like bigger. You take up more room. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what is it about quads? I just, it shows like lower body takes a little bit more time uh, to build. And so, I don't know, not everyone's blessed with big legs. Yeah. I personally like a guy that has bigger legs than me. So what, what is it that makes the, the triceps, the back of the arms, so attractive? I have no idea. You don't it know? Just, yeah, it's like a really pretty muscle. Probably arms. Biceps. Biceps? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. Did, you, did you speak that to her? No. no. What, what is it about biceps that makes it so attractive? I don't know. I just... <laughs> I don't know if I can say this on camera. You can say whatever you want. 
arms, big arms. Which is nice. Like... In addition to having the girls pick in their number one muscle, I also had them rate each muscle on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the most attractive. After we get enough data, I'll be using a scientific tool called ANOVA to determine which muscle is not just most attractive, but if it actually reaches statistical significance. This way, we can confidently say if certain muscles are genuinely more attractive and which muscles aren't. You put calves as one. Can you uh, explain? <laughs> this is good news for guys though. Because they're the know. hardest muscle for, for most guys to grow. I just don't think it's that important. Like I'm like always looking at your face. So like looking down at like your calves, I'm just like eh. Let's go. I don't think <laughs> it's that. No, too. I don't Me think too. it's that important. A lot of guys love the calves. And at this point, I was already finding one muscle group that was doing surprisingly worse than I expected. Shoulders, nine. nine. Abs, six. Really? I'm not going to look at a guy and be like, oh, he has no abs. Like, no. Okay. Abs are last. Yeah, abs, I don't really care about abs. Really? Yeah. If you just eat a bit less, they show a little bit more. Yeah. Whereas, like, you have to, like, really put in the work to, like, grow your quads and glutes and chest and Interesting. stuff. Interesting. So. Abs are overrated, you hear that? But before you guys ditch the diet and jump on a bulk for the rest of your life, I did notice something interesting with the data. Although on average abs are scoring low, when I count how frequently girls were picking abs as the most attractive muscle, it's actually in the top three. Suggesting that while on average girls don't really seem to care much for abs, the ones who do really find them attractive and score them as a 10. Which just goes to show you that even if a muscle doesn't score high in our study, there's still someone out there who may be attracted to just that. Calves would be like a close second. What yeah. is it about calves? I have no idea, but I think they're so beautiful if a guy has a good set of calves on him. A lot of guys love the calves. This is a really underrated muscle, but for me, it'd be the brachioradialis muscle. <laughs> oh my god! Most people don't even know what that is. <laughs> so it's a muscle right here. I yes. mean, I can demonstrate. All right, it. Show, show, yeah. show. So like flex this muscle right here. If you have this, your hands are also really nice. It's like True. overall like a really nice. I guess big it arm. shows like you're hardworking, very hands-on. Yeah. And how important do you think muscles are on a gut? Um, as someone that goes to the gym, I find them important, so, yeah. What makes them important? Um, like healthy lifestyle, look fit, yeah, just overall good, wellness. Ooh, okay, I think cool. it's attractive. Nice. Yeah. And uh, if you could rank <laughs> his muscles out of 10, what would you give him? <laughs> like an 8. They're putting in effort, they show up for you in ways you need them to. Max showed up for me today, and I really needed him, so he, he exhibits that quality, and he, <laughs> he is also single. Okay. Are you single? <laughs> I am single. Are you single? <laughs> yes, I am. You are? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, the great thing is that Max is also single <laughs> here. Lovely. And he's he's looking, he's not only good looking, kills it in the gym, <laughs> yeah. but he's honestly one of the sweetest people I know. Show her your break your radius. One more time, it's very nice. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, okay. Is that good enough to get your number? <laughs> May I have your number? <laughs> <laughs> he's on one knee. Yeah. yeah he's already yeah. on one knee. Of course, I'll give you my number. With Max's body and my skills as a wingman, I was finally able to set Max up with some potential first dates. But how much of his success was coming from his muscles? Well, this goes back to our ancestral times. Back then, strong muscles showed that a man could protect and support his family. But it wasn't just about fighting ability. Since building muscle needs protein-rich food, it meant that these men were good hunters too. So today, even though most men get muscles at gyms rather than hunting, attraction to muscles should still be hardwired into their DNA. How important do you think like muscularity is when it comes to... Oh no, it's not important. No, really? No. Oh, that's a deep question. <laughs> it probably can move up, like say, like one point on a scale of one to 10. That's the first thing that draws me in and then the personality will keep me there. I wouldn't say it's like super important. It's not that important for me, but like you said, for some people it's very important. Well, I'm slightly biased because I'm in the fitness industry, so I understand that it takes a lot of discipline and a lot of work to get a muscular physique, and I personally strive to have that, so I think for me it's without a doubt very important. It is important for attraction. I guess like a bonus, but it's yeah. not like... <laughs> yeah. okay. I would just say as long as they take care of themselves, I think it's important where they stand in their fitness journey, I don't think is super relevant to me as long as they're pursuing it. Yeah. Is that what like initially attracted you to, to him? No. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> but but it, yeah. it helps. It, it does, sure does. Now, while having some muscle was definitely seen as positive by almost every girl we spoke to, 
they were generally seen as far less important than what most guys predicted. So if you are hitting the gym, you're probably better off picking a goal that's important to you rather than just trying to impress girls. Now I won't say muscle doesn't help, but in my experience, it typically leads to a lot more compliments from gym bros rather than the ladies. As for the results of our survey, we managed to collect over 50 responses from our interviews on the beach. But based on a statistics tool called G Power, it recommended we aim for at least 200 to make our results statistically valid. So after sending out a quick online survey, we had all the data we needed. And here's what we found. Cavs came in at the very bottom of our survey with only three first place votes out of 205 responses. As it turns out, not a lot of girls really love calves. Next were glutes, legs, and abs. Now while these muscles significantly outperform calves, their scores were still much lower than the upper body muscles, chest, back, and shoulders. However, the differences between these three muscles didn't quite reach statistical significance. So although I'm confident, I can't for sure say that nice shoulders are objectively more attractive than back or chest muscles. However, there was one muscle that reached statistical significance when compared to all the other muscles. Arms. Arms not only crushed the rankings, but it was also the first place vote for over 30% of the girls we surveyed. But even though building a ripped physique won't guarantee the girl of your dreams, there was one personality trait that outperformed every muscle we surveyed. Like you can have like be super f funny. Sorry, sorry. Probably good sense of humor. There's no point <laughs> if they're not funny. They're funny. You can handle jokes. Funny guy. Good sense of humor. Uh, hopefully they're funny. So while I can't teach you how to be funnier, I can help you get lean and muscular as fast and as efficiently as possible using science. We've helped countless people transform their bodies and lifestyles with proven meal plans and workouts using the best data available. To sign up today, just head over to builtwithscience.com and take our quiz to find the best plan for you and your body. Isn't that right, Max? Max. Max. I will say you have like a Baywatch thing situation. Thank you, actually. I get that whenever I wear these shorts. Yeah. This is probably why you wear them. Yeah, exactly.